lately I've been seeing a lot of solderless um, 18650 holders showing up on YouTube and online. But honestly, I thought so far they're all very expensive and um, don't like the design of a lot of them. A lot of them use these um, like a tight pressure fit on the cylinder and uh, that looks like it could come loose over time and I haven't been impressed with them. And I had the thought, I'm pretty sure I could build my own solderless um, 18650 battery box um, just using cheap eBay parts and I've been working on it and I think I've come up with a quite a good design. This is my first prototype here and you can see it is it is a uh, very strong um, solderless uh, battery box right here. These are eight cells in parallel, so this is only 3.7 volts, but you know it could push a, over 100 amps if it needed to. Um, the way I have this designed is I am using good old spring clips from a like a like you would get in like a double A or a triple A type uh, battery, and I am. There you can see, I have the uh, I have the uh, spring there and just the 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 receiver on this side, and the batteries all just clip in, and then you close up the uh, the box, and uh, you got to you got to fiddle with it a little bit. There we go, it's closed up, and I would probably run a couple pieces of Kapton tape around it just to hold it closed, and I'm considering drilling a couple ventilation holes just to get a little airflow in the box, but here you have a completely solderless battery box ready to go and you can stack eight of them and that would be a great 30 volt um, battery to run off a 24 volt transformer and uh, you can stack as many as you want. I mean eight of these with eight of these that's like 600 uh, amp hours um, um, at 20 you know eight of these with it would be a great 24 volt 600 amp hour uh, battery and uh, these would be it would be fairly compact stack up eight of these and there you go you would have a great 18650 and you can see these do not move these are all nicely wedged in place so i'm going to show you the basics of how this is built and how it is solderless first of all take a battery box and uh, put all your batteries in it and just mark where the center of all the batteries are and then uh, across the bottom i've drilled you drill holes um you know dr drill it out at each one along the bottom and then take the spring clip like this and I have bent it over um, it comes straight like that um, and I have bent it over like that and then you can press the prong through and I have drilled the hole slightly smaller so this is actually a tight pressure fit once it's in it's in place it's not it's not going anywhere and then I did um, round these over with a pair of pliers, I pull them through a little more and then round them over just to um, keep it in place and you can see that is nicely in place, not going anywhere and then, um, so you build, put your springs in, you put your, uh, your contact points on the other side and then the trick is how do we connect all of these, I did consider soldering these, I have a soldering station and I solder regularly, I could have soldered these all together but I really did want to try and do this in a solderless fashion. So what I did is I took some nickel strip and it is literally just wedged in place. You can see that. It is just wedged in place and then I cut a slit on the end of the plastic so it can come out. Let's take these batteries out so you can better see what I'm talking about. You can see I literally tucked the, the nickel strip behind all of these and because of the spring contact it pushes nice and tight on the nickel strip and this is completely loose just tucked in behind each one of these uh, spring contacts and they're all held in place by being pushed through and having their uh, pins bent over and the nickel's tucked through and then there's your nickel strip coming out the side of the box and I cut a slit in the top so that it can close on itself like that and as you can see you can see how the box is built there's your springs there's your receivers 
and uh, this is an excellent, if I do say so myself, solderless battery box. And it's nice and rectangle, so it's easy to stack. You can Kapton tape a few together. Um, you could, you can even uh, fuse off the top of these if you want to keep them. You know, use a fuse off each one of them. This allows a lot of modular building, and uh, you can build whatever you want, and in any voltage and any uh, amp hour you want uh, using this design. And you should know, I these boxes. These boxes are about $1.50 each if you buy, you know, 10, 20 of them at a time. These spring clips, um, I think for like 200 I paid like 2 or $3. Um, and the nickel, you know, the nick nickel's fairly expensive, but, you know, it's a few bucks for a roll of, you know, for a roll of nickel. It's, you know, I think it was like 5 or 6 bucks. So I'm, it, these battery boxes are under, um probably under three dollars a battery box and uh, uh you know if you do eight of them uh you know 20 30 bucks you have a beautiful modular battery box looks very professional easy to change out a bad cell if you have a bad cell super easy to sw switch it out um and uh i think this is going to turn into a nice uh, a nice design for the future for me i plan on doing a uh a, a 36 volt um, electric bike soon and I am, and I am working on a uh, 24 volt um, a hurricane emergency box kind of like Jehu designed um, so I think this kind of design will be very useful in the future